is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Rural Metro ends an historic chapter of its department. Station 71 firefighters are officially moving into a new and improved location on South Belvedere Avenue. Crews have already been working out of the station for about a week and a half as they finish moving everything in. Uh, the, fire, uh, the fire department says the older building was decaying and it was starting to grow out of it. The battalion chief says this newer station will be able to house more equipment and their firefighters more comfortably. The man accused of kidnapping and killing two young Tucson girls will be in court tomorrow. It's the first appearance for Christopher Clements since being indicted for the murders of his Felcellus and Maribel Gonzalez. The two young bo girls' bodies discovered close to each other in the desert after a tip from the FBI. Clements faces 22 counts, including first-degree murder, kidnapping, and sexual exploitation of a minor. The 36-year-old remains behind bars on a $2 million cash-only bond. The Tucson Police Department is getting a big financial boost to help combat domestic violence. It's coming in the way of a federal grant totaling $750,000. The funds will be used to help train nurses at Tucson Medical Center to better recognize signs of domestic abuse. The grant will also add domestic violence detectives to the department. Now let's check in with Kyler. All right, Val, looks like we've got some mild weather this week. Yeah, you might think, well, that's a little warm for fall, but actually this is right about average for this time of the year. A slight chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms on Monday, but for the rest of the week, most of the uh, activity will stay east and south of Tucson. Overnight lows still pretty comfortable, upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. All right, thank you, Kyler, for more news and weather updates. Head to our website, kega9.com, and follow us on social media.